Here's what can happen when you get a good virus going. It can tear up the world. It is Thursday, a little bit after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm on the north side of downtown Pittsburgh in what's commonly referred to as the North Shore area. And do you see anything wrong? Look at all these parking lots and how empty they are. Look at the traffic on that bridge. How little of it there is. All these parking lots would be packed on the average day. And they're a little bit tore up right now. I think of this as a little bit of sweet justice and revenge for all the people who own these parking lots and charge you ridiculous amounts of money to uh, park there every day. Good. Serves you right. Hope you go bankrupt for all the years you've been ripping people off. And I'll drive around a little and show you some more. Now I could go up to higher... Oh, they have EV chargers here too now. I could go up to higher levels of this parking garage and show you how empty this place is. But either number one, I'd have to pay money to get the car in here, or two, I'd have to go for a good walk on my own. And either way, not going to happen. But you get the idea. It's not too crowded around here right now. Okay, there's a little more. I walked in some. Here's where I'm at in an area that is commonly known as the North Shore of Pittsburgh. If you don't park in town to go to work, you park up here. It's a little less expensive. And I could go into all these garages here and through all these lots, but I think you get the idea. This virus is tearing this place up. These lots would be packed right now. And this road I'm on would be backed up to every stoplight because of all the people trying to get out of town. Look what time it is. It's 4.20 p.m. This is coming on to the highest part of rush hour. Look at these lots here. And a lot of these lots have the signs up with the two words I hate most. Leases only. I hate that because I don't work downtown and I don't need a parking lot lease. But if I had to go downtown somewhere and you get there at the wrong time of the day, all the garages have their signs up. Leases only. I hate that. Well, like I said before, this is an area I would be sitting in here a good five minutes or more to get through these couple of stoplights. And I'm rolling right up to it now. A lot of lights are even turning green as I get to them. So it's like an extra bonus. This is an area of this highway that is always backed up in rush hour. Because if you're going straight through and not going onto the bridge, everyone has to merge into one lane. And people in Pittsburgh do not know how to merge. Do you ever feel like you're the only competent driver in the world and everyone else around you is a complete idiot? Well, it's very easy to feel like that right here. It's either you get in the left lane and go straight, or you stay in the right lane and cross the bridge. But I've seen more traffic here on a Sunday morning. And this is a Thursday rush hour. This is another major traffic backup if you're heading east from downtown. This is Allegheny River Boulevard, and a ways up the road, there is a red light for an intersection. And I've seen traffic on this road back up a mile, and it's a common daily occurrence. But look at this. I'm going the speed limit on this road. There's not a lot of cars up there. It's like no big deal today. And this is 4.32 p.m. It is prime time rush hour. I've seen more traffic on this road on a Sunday morning. 
It's amazing what a little virus can do for fixing a traffic jam.